Talking with Steve from collegefootballwinning.com and SBR contributor John Ryan from johnryansports.com previewing week six of college football here on the SBR TV College Football Experts Roundtable. Uh, now we're going to uh, go into our marquee matchups rundown where we just take the marquee matchups of the upcoming week, spit out the lines, and have all of our expert guests give a 10 second read on the line. Maybe they have no opinion, maybe they have a, a strong opinion, whatever it is, it's a, it's a rapid fire analysis of these games. Today there's three games that we're going to look at. The first one is Oklahoma at Texas. Texas, of course, great powerhouse program, 10-point underdog against Oklahoma. That's because Oklahoma is the top-ranked team in the country, steamrolling over everyone. Steve, what do you think about that? I think this is a great position for Texas. It's great. I believe Texas was born anew after that BYU game, so at UCLA. Those last two games, so since BYU, they are plus five in turnover margin. They're 4-1-1 one, one against the spread so far this year. Uh, the last 10 games in the Red River rivalry, uh, where you've seen a double-digit favorite, Texas has won both of those. Hmm. And they've been on both sides of that. They've been giving and they've been getting those, those double digits. So uh, in this case, Oklahoma is such a prohibitive uh, public favorite. This is a great position for Texas. Get that double-digit. Get Get Texas plus ten. Hmm. John Ryan, what do you think? I echo the same the same fa uh, facts. Uh, public is betting sixty percent on Oklahoma. Texas is the play. All right. Then we have Auburn at Arkansas. Arkansas at home minus ten. Both teams are playing well overall. Uh, Auburn would expect to maybe have a down year, but they've been covering and playing pretty well. Arkansas playing great, except when they've run up against elite teams. Minus ten at home. What do you think, uh, John Ryan? Um, I think Arkansas is the play. They're, they have a tremendous offense, obviously. Right. And uh, Auburn's in a rebuilding year. Um, I don't have a real strong opinion on this, but, um, you know, I think Arkansas is the play. I think they have too much offense for Auburn to stop. Yeah, I would lean Arkansas as well. Steve from collegefootballwinning.com, what do you think? I would stay away from a side here, but if you're looking to make a play on this game, I think the over is the yeah. play. Uh, combined so far this year, both teams are... Six three and one on the total. That uh, six being over. Last ten times they met head to head, the over was uh, the winner seven of those ten times. Last two games, the line total was in the sixties, like it is for this game when these two teams met. Those were the last two games. Both times it went over. Right. So if you're looking for a play, I take the over. Yep, I actually did bet this over on opening. And then the third marquee matchup, we already talked about it in depth, but just give your uh, one or two sentence summary of your opinions. Florida at LSU at home minus thirteen and a half. Steve, go. Uh, I, I'm really liking LSU. This is uh, just such a horrible position for Florida to be in. And as I said, they already have their excuse that this is their, they're just bringing up Jeff Driscoll or some other quarterback. So the excuse is there. LSU is going to cream them. There you go. John Ryan, you disagree. Tell us why. Yeah, I, I disagree almost for the same reasons. I think Florida can go in there loosey-goosey and just let it rip. You know, they have nothing to lose. They're supposed to lose this game. They're supposed to get killed. And I think that's when they can be really dangerous. And I said this, this quarterback, Driscoll, 6'5", 235, with a, a, just an absolute gun for an arm. All right. Thanks so much. That's our preview of Week 6 for college football. Thanks so much to SBR contributor John Ryan from JohnRyanSports.com and Steve from CollegeFootballWinning.com. Thanks, guys.